Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Yay. And tonight it's 7800 Woo. night. We're going to be playing three 7800 games. You can go up there beside Bernie. Yeah. There you go. Bernie actually is a 7800 game, so Perfect. that's appropriate. Very appropriate. Uh, tonight we are going to be playing uh, three games for the 7800 Space Race, uh, Freeway, and it's Connor time. Yay! Now, space race and freeway are similar, but okay. um, but still very different. Okay. Um, I want to thank all the subscribers yeah. scrolling beside Ooh. Tanya Alnafar, come H Atari 1974, Atari H Atari Patch Quest, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Captain Man 2D, Charles Madruga, Charles Willen, Chic Gamer, uh, 01, <laughs> Colonel Lama, Dianoid, Dan FC, Drexel, Dr. Mook, Has Great Defender, Roger Rapper, Johnny WC, Computer, JRM, Carl G. Ken Jennings, Invader, Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mike the Talman, K. Smith, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Nostalgic, Pack Rat, VG, Koag, R. Entrance, RC70, Red Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Rod Castler, Six, Smitty B, Spice, Where Smears, the T Welshman, Tiki Dan K, Tifos2600, and your name's not there. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'll have to, I'll have to resubscribe. <laughs> Tanya will have to resubscribe. And if uh, you want to resubscribe like Tanya will right yes, after the show, right after the show, uh, just um, hit subscribe on Twitch. And it's free if you have Amazon Prime. That's a little right. Checkbox. Little or box. There. Click the box, and then you get a free subscription every Yay. every uh, month. Month. Yeah. Yeah. Send it our way if yep. you like it. Yes, I'm wearing the PRGE shirt. We uh, were wearing other two new shirts last time, yep. so we had to wait to wear this one. Yeah. It's a Pac-Man shirt. Their theme uh, this year was kind of Ms. Pac-Man. Yeah. Yep, yep, and they yep. had a display that we didn't get to see because we're so busy doing <laughs> interviews. And speaking of interviews, so interviews, three of them are now up on YouTube. Nice. Uh, they are uh, Albert Uruso from Atari Age. Uh, Matthew Smith, MK Smith from Chunky Pexel, talking yeah. about Attack of the Petsky Robots. Meow. Meow. <laughs> and Andrew Polly, aka Armscar Coder, Very talking cool. about his new game, 2600 game Raptor. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a poll question. Let's do the poll question. And it was prompted by. Um, Tanya did just get home from work. Yes, she <laughs> it's did. It's probably the button-up shirt. I look very formal today. <laughs> <laughs> it was very bright and white. I had to. Yeah, to tone turn, down turn the color, down. the color, um, yeah. the, the color the, temperature the a little. Brightness. No, yeah. just the brightness, not the temperature. <laughs> Uh, that would turn it blue True. or orange. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Command. Thank you, Ms. Command, for resubscribing. And to S. Ramirez, who yeah. resubscribed just before the show Wonderful. started as Excellent. well. Excellent. And welcome, Ms. Command. Hey, come here. Uh, Atari 800's XL rule says, love the interview so far. Yes. Um, so the question was, actually, I can show the post in the... Oh, that's not the right. What? what uh, one second. Let me just switch this. What's so going on? Correct. There we go. There. There's the question. Okay. Will the 2600 still be collected in 20 Ooh. years? I extended that to 7800 because yeah. we're playing 7800 tonight. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hateful Gravy. <laughs> good, uh, good name. Good name. Yeah. Because uh, not, hateful is not really a thing you associate with gravy. No. I guess you could make it hateful if you put terrible things and into it not, and then serve it to somebody. It's There's not my gravy. gravy. There's an E in it. So it's like gravy. gravy? Like grave gravy, is like a, a gravestone. Grave? Oh. Hateful Gravy. I don't know. Um, anyway, it says uh, he. They say I'm not trying to be funny or start something negative. I'm actually wondering if collecting old consoles will still be a thing as time passes. <clears throat> I'll explain my thought process. So hopefully, shed some light on what I'm actually asking here. My birthday's coming up. I'm not old, but I'm old enough that no one would confuse me for young. I'll be 39 this year. I have a large collection by my own standard and no desire to get rid of it anytime soon. Oh, I'll correct it. Rid of it anytime <laughs> soon. It's just being silly. Yeah. Uh, so getting older, I've reached a point of wondering what will happen with it once I'm no longer here to That's take true. care of it and enjoy it. I have nieces and nephews that are very into video games. And thanks to my involvement uh, in their lives, they have some exposure to older video games. Even so, they have no interest in the older games beyond yeah. a passing curiosity. Having no kids of my own, I had hoped one of them would take interest in the older stuff and enjoy having it. Don't bother. Your kids will hate whatever you force upon That's them. That's true. Yeah. Or, or nieces <laughs> no and nephews. No matter what. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Even if so, as a conversation starter when I die. Uh, seeing no real real interest in them have be, has been a little depressing. Mm. And stop it, cat. And has me wondering if anyone be interested in this stuff this old in the coming years. I don't know for sure, but I seem to be on the pretty young side of collecting VCS stuff. I know people tend to collect what they remember from the past and have some memories of VCS age gaming because my family didn't really have the funds to upgrade to new consoles as they came out and grew up playing my uncle's old games. Sounds very familiar. To me. Yes. I had no consoles. Yeah. So I have memories attached to the uh, attached the collection to. So I have memories to attach the collection to. Even with my influence, the children in my family are much more interested in the modern games. Mm -hmm. Of course. I don't blame them. These are the things they're growing up with. So <laughs> to other collection collectors in the world, do you ever, ever wonder about these things? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you think that there'd be still interest in older games in another 20 years after all? Um, and down here, they uh, somebody related it. Uh, Sir Links a lot. Um, <laughs> obviously likes Links games. Yeah. Um, give it an analogy to classic cars but it works yeah. for any thing that people are interested in in their childhood whether it be music or video games or classic cars or anything else that's collectible or they had an interest in um there's going to be you're going to be playing them you're going to be enjoying them yeah and then you're not yeah and they'll go away for a bit and then about 20, 15, 20 years, 25 years after that, yeah. you'll have some money and you'll yeah. go, I want to relive my childhood. Yeah, yeah. And then there's the big bubble yeah. um, where everybody in that era yeah. buys all their collections back or buys the games they wanted mm -hmm. as a kid and they get really interested and then they die off and they get thrown in the garbage pretty much <laughs> because it will happen again with each successive but I generation. I, I, I think that's true. Like are, are, we, but... are we into collectible <clears throat> little spoons that we hang up on the wall or plates no that one's go in along? No into collectible spoons. Not of our but, era. No, no. <laughs> but but it's collectible spoons are kind of like, um, uh, what, what are those silly stuffed toys? Oh. They were a fad. But the thing okay. is, video games have a history and an evolution. Yes. And I think anything that has a history and an evolution people are still interested in it 100, 200 years later. Because... To an extent, yes. To an extent. It's not like... Yeah, you're right. There's a nostalgia kind of wave. There's a wave, yeah. There's a wave where everyone kind of goes, oh, you know, like you kind of throw I off this. this stuff from your youth and then you kind of develop a nostalgia for it. This cat... Cats <laughs> never, never go out of style, though. No. Um, but if you look at something like vinyl or yep. music... Yep. Or, or, mm. or even... even um, not many people listening to 1930s and 40s music. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Okay. If you look at the hardware, if you look at, like, wax cylinders, if you look at okay. uh, vinyl records, yes. there's always kind of an interest in how things have evolved. Yeah. And so as long as it has evolved into something that's still relevant, people still have an interest in it. To an extent. To an extent. Yes. In the same way that old cars, like, yes, not many Model Ts driving around, but there are still yeah. people interested and who still own them. Yeah, and I think that's different for practical things like cars and video games where you can actually use them. And there's them, a physical thing. As opposed to, and a physical thing, yeah. as opposed to, like, little spoons yeah. that are only for looking at. Yeah. You don't touch them. Those you don't things are like, place like, spoons on your hand with them. A visual kind of little trends, but there's no, like... There's no continuation for them. Do you know what I mean? And so yeah. I feel like music, video games, like think of even like instruments. Like people will collect really old instruments because they relate to if they like music and they like yeah. to play music, that someone will have a really old so, piano. So I, I didn't actually uh, say what the options. I know, were. and I, I said I don't. You didn't even mention the options. I, know. I got into it too quick. Yeah. Uh, one, there'd be a little more interest. Two, a little less interest. Yeah. yeah. Three, a lot less interest. <laughs> and four, no interest at all, museums only. See, I wouldn't say that, but I would say that I, there's probably going to be a lot less. Cause, cause... I think a lot less. I don't yeah. think it's going to be museums only because even no. like really old stuff, like 50 years old, yeah. 60, 70 years old stuff, there's still collectors yeah. around for it. They're so small of a market. And the cost will only be dictated by... D well. rarity at that point rather than 
interest. A demand. demand. Demand won't won't yeah as much. Um, yeah. All the other things will be like, well, there's a million of this, like nobody yeah. cares, or even a hundred thousand, or even a thousand of this won't even be rare. Yeah, yeah. It'll yeah. be like there's five or ten. Yeah. Because that's the whole market. It's going to be. But how quickly that goes away, I think video games have a bit of longer longevity. longevity I do think they do. Because they keep remaking even these ancient ones, but yeah. we're still in the bubble of 2,600, 7,800 yeah. at the moment. But that's kind of what I mean, is that there is this evolution, and, and video games are going to evolve into something else, and yep. because of that, they'll be like a trail back to game to the Atari systems, to old computer systems, yeah. we'll to old coding systems. Playing them all in VR. That's all. Or playing them yeah. beamed right into our, our eyes because... No, I... no, I don't think that's true. <laughs> there are people who still play records. They still play vinyl because this concept of having something physical with a needle that plays music yeah. is appealing. There's something appealing about that, that it, it's, it's, it's not really electronic, you know, like it's actual physical media. And so I yeah. think... You know, like electronics are harder because they have to still it's be street ties. Yum, 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 functional, yum. right? They have to, the the chips still have to work and the soldering still has to be not corroded. And you know what I mean? Like it, it's harder. Yeah. Yeah. But um. Oh, oh my cat. Hey, we're waiting for that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, I'm gonna get to go back to my original point. Cats will never not be popular. Yeah. So. <laughs> They're not a fad. <laughs> Oh, kittens. Oh, it's kitten time. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Alna Fur. Yes, thank you, Alna Fur. Triggering treat time Here's for the for cats. You. Are you, did you, are you hit one? Here, yeah, here you go. Um, so people uh, voted a lot less. 58% is yeah. the top one. 33% uh, a little less. 8.3% uh, uh, think it's going to be a little more yeah. in 20 years. It's possible. It's quite possible. It's quite possible. I, oh, know, I don't think my interest will wane. Uh, uh, another, factor, <laughs> <laughs> another factor is homebrew that they didn't really talk about or get take into consideration. They're talking about collecting like the old stuff. <laughs> Um, homebrew is still not peaked for 2600. Every year there's more homebrew yeah. being made. Yeah. And 7800 is is <clears throat> getting more and more as well. Yeah. But well, we're just restricted to 2600. Like when will a better question I think at this moment would be <laughs> when will 2600 homebrew peak? Yeah. That'd be an interesting topic to discuss maybe in the future. Um so um <laughs> Let's open the mail right now. Oh, look at the 7800 going nuts there. There you go. All done? Nope. You still have... Almost. Oh I my got God, a few in my hands. Tons. That's okay. Okay. I'll open the mail. They you can, can see them in the corner there. They can be in the corner. So we Mr. Zerner, I'm voting with Tanya on this topic. Yes, I think I think it's true. I think I think interest will always be there because it, it's an evolving kind of... Yeah. Idea. My and... dog pawed at my lap. <laughs> two, two, one, two, two, two. Your this dog cat uses both of his paws. He's like, I'll tap this one, I'll tap that one. <laughs> Ambidextrous. Yeah. Um, so this is from Brazil. Ooh. These cats. You are demanding. This cat is getting pretty, pretty fluffy. Oh, I, I typed in the chat before the show. There's one more but cat. But I think the. One more. But I think the Good cats cute. have been conditioned now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to get really excited when they hear chiptune music. Oh, ha, 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 yeah. Because they went crazy as soon as I started the chiptune music. Really? They're like at the door, both of them. Oh, God. <laughs> this better stay contained. Nice. This is shredded newspaper. Okay, let's see. Holy, oh, my God. Oh. oh don't pack with shredded newspaper. Oh, <laughs> hey, it is it is um, very compostable, sweat. I'm sure. So yes. there you go. Yeah. Yeah, we'll recycle all of this. Okay, I'll make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, oh, there's more. That's good. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. This is a mess. This is gonna be vacuum city after. Get it all off. Okay, leave that there for a second. Hey, I said leave it. I'm just taking it out so you can put the plastic away. I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking at it. Leave it. Oh, messy. So messy. Yeah. One second, people. Yes, they can. They can hear They can hear the music. It plays can, in the room. Yeah. So I, they come I, running downstairs. Because I listened to it, too, before the show. Yeah. Oh, my God, what a mess. 
Oh, Atari 2600 dude says, I've seen an interest in collecting old mobile phones, especially Nokia. I can see that. They're like little uh, mini computers, yeah, you know? Yeah, and there's especially ones where you can load games onto. Yeah. Um, and how else are you going to play Snake, honestly? <laughs> Nokia. Um, or is it Nokia? Oh, what I always, a always mess. said Nokia. Depends how it's pronounced in. Uh, I've always said Nokia. Finnish? Finnish, yeah. Right? Yeah. It is. <gasps> Razor's Edge Ooh, from uh, Leonardo nice. Santiago Red Button Games. Nice. Number three. Woo. Thank you so much. So, um, because we didn't make it to the end of this game. Yeah. So we got kind of close. We oh got pretty God. far into it. It's one. Uh, it's a fighting game, right? It's yeah, the it's one the on fighting one. game. We made it to the subway, I think. Yeah, the subway the, level. The backgrounds were really beautiful, from what I remember. So let yeah. me just go to a close up here. I won't yeah. open it this time. I'll open it when we play it. Okay. It'll be pretty soon. I will try to. There you uh, go. Razor's connect. Edge, in box, beautiful packaging. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So we'll. Oh. <laughs> What a mess. Well, it That's forces okay. me to vacuum, which is probably something I best. need to do anyway. <laughs> and not only did they send over um, the game. Oh, let's switch back. They sent over a Razor's Edge shirt. So we'll definitely <gasps> be wearing this. Nice. Um, nice. When we play the game. <laughs> Cute. I like it. So <laughs> female characters kicking ass there. Yes, I like it. Very nice. Yeah black on the back yeah um so we'll be wearing that thank you so much red button games and we'll be uh playing that game yeah. soon on an after dark and we will finish it no Ooh. matter what um let's see oh, okay news oh. Hokies are now available for purchase here we go kind of so, Concerto is now available for purchase with a Hokey uh, Batari posted after the show last time. Um, if you recently bought a Concerto and it hasn't shipped yet and you want to add a Hokey, please contact me. Um, and then it goes off later. Yes, you'll be able to buy just a Hokey chip very soon. There's the link for it. I will add stock after I catch up. Got behind due to PRGE. Um... And if you also ordered a concerto cart, um, he's going to try and contact everybody who ordered one through email. So check your email, check your spam box. Um, and oh, not only that, go away. Something very, very exciting right here. Could a Hokey have YM support? Yamaha. A lot of games now are... Um, Yamaha chips, is Yamaha it? chip. Yeah. Um, are adding support for Yamaha <laughs> chips, um, mm -hmm. which the Dragonfly supports, mm -hmm. has a Yamaha chip in it. Um, so somebody asked, uh, could a Hokey have a Yamaha support? All in one chip. By the way, not complaining, as amazing as it is. And Batari, uh, Fred Quimby, that uh, we met at, mm. uh, at PRGE, YM support is planned. <laughs> that is excellent. I've only done a cursory investigation into it, but I didn't see anything so far that a Hokey could not handle. Nice. So that is excellent news for concerto owners. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to play 1942 with Yamaha support and all the demos and everything else. So that is excellent, mm -hmm. excellent news. Um, Let's see what else. That is it for news. So that's um, that's really, really great news. So that no matter which one you bought, eventually Yamaha support should be available. So we're going to go to the first game now, which is a space race, but not before we take a look at where it come from, came from. It is a very, very old arcade game. Wow. Uh, I can tell by the black and white already. That's right. <laughs> It is from 1973. Wow. Um, so let's just take a quick look at the arcade version of it. There we go. Um, Space Race is an arcade game developed by Atari Inc. and released July 16th, 1973. It's older than me. It was the second game by the company after Pong in 1972, which marked the beginning of the commercial video game industry. Space Race is a two-player arcade game. In the game, two players each control a spaceship, which they fly from the bottom of the screen to the top. Along the way, there are dashes representing asteroids. Moving across the screen from left to right, 
Um, and right to left. Uh, which players must avoid? Movement controls are limited to moving the spaceship up or down. If the player's ship is hit by an asteroid, it disappears for a few seconds before reappearing at the bottom. Uh, uh, this game displays a star field in the background as well as each player's score, which increases whenever a player makes it to the top first. Each game is for a set amount of time represented by a line at the bottom, during the, right in the middle there, with the winner being the player with the higher score when the time runs out. There we go. Very, very simple, simple game. Uh, appropriate for the era. I think you're right. Like yeah. this, this feels like a 1973 game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, very simple stuff. But you can going see there's there. a little bit of challenge in, in you know, the dodging and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nostalgic 26. I can only imagine how complicated it was to even make this simple game oh, back then. Oh, yeah. my God, yes. Like, Super complicated. This is like, yeah. Um, so let's boot up the uh, 7800 yep. version of this game, which was made by uh, uh, Michael Myers, a.k.a. Sax Meister. Mm. Uh, this builds from September 25th, 2022. Other games, Altered Beast, Freeway, a High Card Draw, Crawl, and Space Race. And we're also going to be playing his Freeway after this. Oh, okay. Same same developer. Same developer. It just happened to work out that way. I can't. So... There you go. Okay, Enjoy thank you. Good. Watch out for the kitty. Mine. When uh, I'm finished reading some stuff out, you can get some practicing in. Okay. Nice. Copyright okayest games. <laughs> it's it's okayest. It's, they're the okayest games. Oh, don't squish the cat. It's very soft. I know he's very soft. Want to be on my lap? <laughs> One player for now. One player, two players. Nice. Let me just... Oh my gosh, it's so slow. Oh my gosh, this is not... <laughs> this, this, there's a it's challenge. Challenging. It's oh challenging. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay. Greetings all, I'm trying to get back into programming between things that keep taking up my spare time. I just decided to go back to the original Atari classics and work... What are you doing? No, 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 no. There's bite marks in that now. Where? In the power cable. <gasps> Cat! Laptop power cable. Um, I'm working on oh, no. game logic basics and other optimizations be more moving on to other projects. I need to complete and want to start. Space Race was the second Atari game after Pong and used the same hardware. This used the same hardware as Pong? Wow. <sighs> We got across? Yeah, you got no. two points. Two is it. <laughs> um, I thought I would try my hand at coding on the 7800 using the original black and white graphic style. I decided to run this one in 320A mode, and I stuck with the single player. I know this game has been hacked on the 2600 using Freeway, which ins was inspired by Space Race, but I went back to the original game and tried to recreate as closely as possible from scratch. The object of the game is to get all the way to the top through all the space debris without being hit. There are no lives, so the only limiting factor is time. Players are given 60 seconds to complete the track as many times as possible. When the game is over, players can then go back to the main menu and try again. Uh, it originally started as a single player, um, but he added in uh, two players after. And uh, there's a easy mode and a difficult mode. I'm hoping this is the difficult mode because oh. difficult mode already feels pretty difficult. One of them was set to B, and one was set to A. So. So it should be on the easy mode. Is it? We'll see. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see difficult mode. <laughs> it doesn't really say. It also says on difficult mode, completions are double the points. So oh. you get more points. I well, got six. Did better. Three, three. I made it oh, up three times. Yeah, this is the 7800. You can download this. All all three games tonight you'll be able to download yeah. on the Atari Age forums. So let's set it to two player, please. Mm -hmm. And see how well I can do. Your top score is six. So I am on the right. Tanya's on the left. Oh my god, what? Look at me. Back 
backed off. Okay, I have to pay more attention. Well, it's it's it's, it's hard harder for both of us because you don't have as much we... space. Oh, I finally made it. Oh, I got two points for that. Maybe this is hard mode. It is hard mode. I really wish you could go side to side. <laughs> it's like That's it's not like the you, game. you just can't. Oh, you're see, you're doing so much better. I um. You have to back up up sometimes. Yeah, you can't just. Sometimes you have nowhere to back up to, though. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, this has oh, not oh, been a good round for oh, me. Trust me. Lucky you. Because you have trouble with ones coming off your left. And I have ones coming off the right. Off the right, because you only get a little bit. Can you switch it? I want to see what the sure. other level is like. Zero. You did better last time. Oh, yeah. I did terrible. The, it, single player's in the middle. So that's it, what makes it... It um, feels a little... Oh, it's oh, this slower. Is this is definitely easier. Oh, oh, oh. Not that. So we're playing hard, so... That... This should be much, much, much easier to get across. Much higher points. Well, maybe not, because you only get one. So you have to do it twice as fast. Yeah. Oh, much easier. Much easier. So a little bit of dodging here and there. Only behind, only behind a little bit behind me. No. No? I've had to dodge a few times. Oh, finally. The major issue that I see with this game, and it's not a fault of this game, it's because the original is exactly the same. The Starfield oh, is man. identical every time you play. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So if you really study the patterns... You you, you will find the, the... You'll know exactly when to go yeah. and know the optimal route. I can route. see that. I'm sure. Oh, oh. Ty. That was better. <laughs> I think that many sprites should be no sweat for the 7800 since it's relatively few per zone, yes. I'm glad that was hard mode mm. at first. If that was easy, I couldn't imagine hard mode, yeah. Threading the needle. That's right, Steve. Okay, Larson, they didn't have the budget for side to side in 1973. <laughs> There's no, no budget no for bu horizontal <laughs> movement. Okay, once more. Fortunately, this is the kind of game I can drink wine and play at the same time because I only need one hand. <laughs> Hitbox bigger than the ship. I swear, there's a couple times oh, I yeah? didn't hit it. But, oh lord, I'm but not doing not. well. Come on, pay attention. Or maybe not drink wine at all. <laughs> Is it the wine? I don't think it's the wine. Uh... Well, it's always a good excuse, I guess. It's like, oh, I've been drinking Jeez. wine. I'm not doing well because of the wine. No, no. <laughs> Usually I'm doing better because of the wine. Uh -huh. I would feel less anxious. Uh, what did I... What? Did I hit something up? Oh, my God. Right Which at the I'm last Which I'm not second. trying to encourage or anything. I just... No. Don't do drugs, kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? The hitbox... Oh, my God. You're mad at the hitbox? Mm -hmm. There's no, twice no, no, no. now that I've gotten hit at the top of the screen. Oh no. And I swear I did not hit it. Like, there! I didn't hit it again! The hitbox on the front of the ship. No, please, no. One more time. Yeah, this will be a good party game and try not. Yeah, because yes. it's a two player game. And They're always fun. And very easy to understand. Like, anybody can pick up and play it. Oh, this is. I, that was my fault. I pick picture this game on a sparkly, weird-shaped arcade machine <laughs> in, like, a wonderful 70s-style, yes. like, saloon bar somewhere. Yeah. Um, like, like next to the Pong. Yeah, I... Yeah, the, the cabinet looked interesting, if I can remember Oh, really? Correctly. Yeah. I, oh, I just like wish the you had a photo of the cabinet. I think, yeah, I think those old... Ah, that. that was definitely 100% my fault. They made a fiberglass? Um, yeah, I love the fiber... Oh, no. Fi Cat, you're distracting me. I'm really unique you. shaped um, I love those. I love those cabinets, that they were so creative and 
oh, they were yeah. trying to do something really different. Well, they have to attract attention, right? Because um, they're new. Like, video games were brand new. Oh, I know. And then, then they to just the settled on, like, a very standard-looking arcade after that, which uh, is totally understandable. Makes sense. When you're making so many of them, you want an interchangeable thing. It's like standard TV size, standard cabinet, standardized controls. It, uh, it just makes it cheaper. Ooh, it's a cool neck and neck. Depends. Oh, it's gonna. If you finish, it's. Oh, so close. Did I not beat you? Oh. So close. What would be your Pocock? Some kind of image file. <laughs> Did not work at all, BR Pocock. <laughs> I don't uh, think you can. This is on the Vectrex, too. You know what? I can totally see this as a Vectrex oh, game. Of course, yeah. yeah. Vectrex could handle this no problem. I tried to paste <laughs> the image. Oh, instead of the URL. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, that's a lot of random letters. <laughs> Probably cut you off. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's too much. Yeah. Um, so, uh, four players with a quad Tari. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. I mean, there are a lot of similar games where you have multiple players and you're, because what was the one with the, was the raindrop? Yeah. One? Yeah. It was raindrop kind one of, I mean, you ran back and forth. Carl but... G made that. It's yeah. called Raindrops, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Is that, is that a straight line or you no. kind of did it? You had a bit of horizontal. You were chasing. Movement something on the screen yeah all four people were chasing the same object and avoiding oh, that's right they were chasing a rainbow yeah. and avoiding rain drops and it cut but it yeah. kind of reminds me of this game too where you're chasing up the screen and you're very trying to very things. similar yeah. yes Hi, very kitties. old school so uh that was cool. fun simple yeah. effective it did a great job yeah. recording the game yeah uh so great job saxmeister is that your name yeah uh, next one is, uh... Carl G says, yeah, it had all four directions. That was kind of chasing, yeah, chasing the raindrops. That's right. Oh, Carl G's there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Hello, everyone. Lots of people in the chat. Today, yeah. So. Tons it's of people watching. See. Yeah. Maybe they saw the interviews and Ooh. wanted to check out the actual show. <laughs> <laughs> Which is different than the interviews, but, uh... It is. We still play games here. Okay, come cat. on, kitty. Come on. I know it's warm there. Crazy freeway. Not freeway. Crazy Nobody freeway. Nobody can see it yet. Nobody what? can see it yet. Oh, see? Nobody. Can. There we go. Don't forget the cartridge, too. Uh. Which has disappeared. What just happened to the cartridge? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. What in Phaser the Cat hell? Games. I live the interviews. <laughs> I lived the interviews. Yeah. <laughs> I lived so did them we too. all. <laughs> we, li we all lived through them. Sequel to Crazy Taxi, says Kathy Mantuti. Uh, what is happening? I did a nice, very nice chicken cartridge here. Something funny's going on. Oh, you know what? No, still not working. Odd. Oh. There hold we on, go. Hold on, hold on, we're getting there. there Yay! There we go, I figured it out. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah. That's, that, it happens. <laughs> so, as you can see, or not see, maybe you can't see it. Let's go to the cat cam. I'm wearing my Freeway socks. Woo! In honor of playing Freeway. Activision socks, kitten. Seriously. He likes to move over. So this is made by the same Cat's developer, uh, Sax Meister, Michael Myers, with graphics from TIX, uh, who is amazing at doing graphics. So go for it. Players one, do normal. One and normal hard. Okay. Yep. Simple. Look at those cars go. Uh, so this is first post October 1st. This builds from October 9th. Um, on his space race thread, he posted, well, the code for space race wasn't just sitting around and waiting. It morphed into something else and linked ah, to the freeway thread. Because it's pretty much the same. You just have to animate. Uh, was the ship animated in the last game? Uh, no. Okay, so you animate the, the player character and you change. Whoa, I don't just know how dodged I got that. that. It's very 3D-ish. Very lucky chicken over there. <laughs> um, uh, you change the asteroids into cars, which are much bigger. Uh, yeah. Um, but the underlying code oh. is exactly the same. You touch a car, you go back to the beginning. Uh, you have a countdown, you have score. Uh, the chicken's probably in the exact same spot as the ship was. I'm very glad there's not some dramatic thing that happens to the chicken when he gets hit, by the way. Uh, I think that's planned. What? Actually, yes. No. TIX has some graphics that may be no. going in. 
This is still a work in progress. It's rated MA. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Everybody knows about freeway. I'm not going to repeat that. Uh, he said, well, I was wondering what to do next with the space race code, oh, no. and this was an option that popped up. If I hadn't played Freeway in so long that I'd forgotten how simple the game was and how similar it was to Space Race. Space Race is one of the inspirations. That's Even though cute. on the Wikipedia page, David Crane says he got the idea um, in Chicago where a man was trying to cross the street. Okay. And it said this was mentioned in the first issue of Electronic Games Magazine. Possibly, <laughs> even though it's exactly the same as space race mm -hmm. <laughs> um but in in actual freeway this is a little bit different than freeway on 2600 and all the other ones um because on the 2600 freeway the chicken gets pushed back rather than resetting so this is more this is close to the his space to space race yeah i was wondering how do canadians pronoun pronounce oh. zz top we pronounce it how the band pronounces yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. ZZ Top. ZZ Top is ZZ Top. <laughs> yep. Just how Americans should pronounce ZX Spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> because it's a British Very computer true. system. Very true. And ZPH is pronounced ZPH because it's a Canadian <laughs> show. And we're Canadians, so. <laughs> I, I, I fully believe you should pronounce the words the way, the way they were first made. And the pre people who made them up. Yeah. Um, do you fully agree with that? Yes, I do. Okay. Sorry, I'm laughing because I'm listening to you and I keep get smooshing my, my chicken on the road. There's a safe spot on this game, thankfully. Oh, yeah. Um, that's why Jif should be pronounced Jif. Jif? Not Gif. You know, it's Gif. Because the inventor said it's Jif. Here's the thing. Like giraffe. Maybe. Maybe. G as in giraffe. But how many times has that inventor gone on camera to pronounce what he's created? Well, I, I, he I explicitly says really? said it's pronounced Jeff. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like Jeff. The creator was wrong though, girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's right. Jeff sounds like what is it like like jiffy peanut butter yes yes and so like uh, i just i don't know it just that's g's can be pronounced both ways and <laughs> he says it's pronounced that way and it's a new word or acronym yeah. graphics even though it's graphics interchange format it's not gif it's gif very I... silly but and that's the way it is i find technical terms because often you read them and don't pronounce them out loud people pronounce them in very different ways Yes. Because unless when someone... You read it, read it, read it for years and years and yeah. years, and you don't know the pronunciation, because uh, yeah. and then you really old. And then you hear someone pronounce it, and you're like, oh, for like 10 years, <laughs> I've been saying it, I've been pronouncing it differently, yeah. like to myself or in my head. So, um, I don't know. Eeyore is my favorite. If you don't pronounce it British style, it's complete nonsense. Eeyore, yeah, yeah. How do you pronounce it another way? Yeah. E Eeyore? 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 Yeah. I'm I don't not know. sure. I don't know. Jif is a peanut butter. Exactly. <laughs> the, invent the inventor gives his mom gifts for her birthday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Um, I know there are many hacks and upgrades to freeway for the 2600, but didn't see a port in the 7800. So here's my entry. I'd like to do this in 320 with multicolor sprites, but oh. worry that the background will not look as good. Keep playing. Sysop. Yorgis Castle. How did you guys used to say sysop? System operator. System, System operator. Op yeah. That one's, I think, a little more obvious than other ones. You got more to say? Yes, okay. a little bit more. Playing the hard one? <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, st this is still work in progress. To do, split the top of the screen to 320 and have high res scores. Um, yeah, they're a little bit low res right now. Uh, I think they're, are they 160? They look pretty good. Um, and I'm adding a counter. The original game didn't show the counter, so maybe he's already done that. Because there is a counter. Uh, he wants to add pokey support um, and music, which has not been put in. It's kind of a dun, dun, <laughs> asteroids kind of sound. Uh, possible updates. Think of adding more levels with different patterns in cars. Is this getting into Frogger territory, oh, though? God. I think more levels is good because um, I think so. on freeway, there is a lot of different types of like lengths of cars, yeah. like there's trucks and shorter ones and faster ones and slower ones. Yeah. 
This game's hard to play when someone's talking beside you. I'm just gonna say because like really? I'm mentally trying to time, but I'm listening to you uh, at the same time. More and um, better graphics. Multiple cards with different behaviors. Uh, character select. Chicken, opossum, marmadillo, and oh, turtle. Oh, cute! That, I fully endorse that. Please that. no squishing, please. Squish. Oh no, no squishing. Uh, possibly adding moving left and right. Uh, yeah. That really makes it a totally different game. Uh, uh, he you says don't... Frogger territory at that point. And that's true. It is Frogger at that point. Uh, so here's the thing. Except running instead if of If you hopping. were to move left and right, but you're playing and get with other people, just a tiny margin of movement would would. Be like good if you have super you fast levels. Like you separate the screen and yeah, you can't like go you past. still have a lane almost, but right. you could go a little. You could just eek across things. I don't know. Uh, I remember when the pronunciation of Linux was hot, hot, hotly debated. Yeah, because the person who invented it was Linus Torvalds, right? Linus. Okay. Yes. Uh, Linus or following. Linux? Is that the idea? Linus. Yeah, Linus. Linux. L and Linux. Linux. Right. Oh. Uh, did ZPH ever play similar playing Space Treat? I swear we did very early on. Linux. Oh, Linux. Wow. Uh, no. I don't Linux. Think Linux. <laughs> Linux. I don't think Linux was ever a thing. Interesting. Uh, let me just look that up. No, <laughs> yeah. no Space Treat, I want to know. Space Treat. Okay. I am almost certain we did Space Treat really mm. early on. Uh, we played Space Treat Deluxe 2019, April 12th. So there we go. We didn't mm. play Space Treat. I thought so. It's a very, very good game. Uh, okay, now it's two-player time. Mm. Uh, we'll play an easy, then we'll play hard. Okay, press button. You're in control. Oh, no, easy, easy is really easy. Okay, we'll just do hard. Just do hard. Okay. I'm on the right, Tanya's on the left. Ah, ah. Ooh, I saw my chicken disappear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I find easy a little bit. Ah! It's a little too easy, almost. So the cars no. don't change speed either. And I think in the original game they speed up and slow down on the 2600 version. I haven't quite figured out my hitbox here either. Um, the it, bottom it's a little chicken. weird sometimes. I think the bottom is not as sensitive as the top of your chicken. Like, think of it as three-quarter view. Like, the top, if you hit the top, yes. Yeah. You're done. Hit the bottom, there's a bit of leeway. Like a quarter of your chicken is fine. A quarter of your chicken. Quarter of a chicken. Quarter of a chicken. It's a it's a it's a Oh my god, I don't know how I got to the top there. That's kind of funny. Um uh, like Swiss Chalet, which no one other than a Canadian knows what that is. Is that only Canadian? They have quarter chickens. Swiss chalet. Swiss chalet. Is that a good Place. I don't know. I always went there with my grandma. Oh, it's an old that was her. Place. That was her favorite place. It's still around, like Saint Hubert as well in, in Quebec. <laughs> Slightly different flavors for their chickens. Ah. Rotisserie chickens. I don't know why I'm thinking about chicken. <laughs> well, uh, well I do. I do, chicken, but it's kind of sad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, poor chicken. Leave them alone. <laughs> Swiss them chalet. Up. We had Swiss chalet in Buffalo. Oh, uh, well, does Buffalo count? Because Buffalo gets a lot of Canadian stuff, That's right? That's true. They're right across the border, right? Yeah, so yeah. it's very easy to... Quarter kinda... chicken. You get a quarter chicken instead of a whole chicken we, or a half chicken. We only know the Swiss chalet chicken. because it was name-checked in Bare La Naked Lady song, Oh, of it? course! Which yes! Which one? Thank you, Bare Naked Ladies, Grade for spreading Canadian culture. Grade 9? Was it in that one? Uh, maybe. Which, which song was it in? Grade 9, maybe. I wasn't, I wasn't a huge Bare Naked Ladies fan. I'm sure. They're that, very quirky. Some songs were good. Well, that Gordon Lightfoot cover was excellent. Which is the Gordon? Oh, uh, excellent. Lovers in Dangerous Time. Oh, my God. Oh, what yeah, an that's amazing excellent. cover. I love the video for that. But they that. got famous because of that song. Uh, isn't isn't there just driving in the back of a truck yeah, and they're singing? Yeah, just in the back of the truck and it's kind of slow video. motion. Yeah. Yeah. Bring Coffee Crisp. Oh, oh Coffee Crisp is so yes. good. Yes. We'll bring ketchup chips next time. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ketchup chips are so good. Oh, yeah. Americans are like, ketchup? Uh, on a potato no. chip best best Ugh. ever best it ever. is my favorite yeah they're they're a uh, little vinegary yeah and a little sweet 
think of it as ketchup it doesn't taste like ketchup. no think of mixing ketchup with like vinegar like it's more yes. like it's more vinegary. vinegary yeah it's kind of on gets on the edge not of salt and vinegar which is really vinegary but yeah no ketchup chips are the, are the awesome so good all, all dressed, dressed are good too it's but overwhelming I, actually, I think i actually prefer ketchup to all dressed all dressed is a bit of a weird flavor it, yeah. it, it's it's like like someone vomited on chips <laughs> like i just i don't know it's kind of a bit of everything well, i'm not a big fan add band and put bare naked together so don't bare naked is one word and put band at the end mail with fries very good Ugh. <laughs> mail so with fries. we're on to the third and last game Ugh. it does not work on the dragonfly but it does work on the concerto which is a very, very odd turn of events. Mm. Most things work on the dragonfly mm. um, more than the concerto, because concerto's update is coming soon, mm -hmm. but not yet. So, let's learn about its Connor time. It's by Isernosoft, Isernosoft. Isernosoft. Uh, Isernosoft, Soft C. Soft C. They are in the chat tonight hey. if you want to ask them any questions. I feel there's excitement. <laughs> there's some excitement there. Isernosoft. Let's see, does that? Sir? Kerr. Kerr? Sir. Kerr? Sir? Hey. Kerr? <laughs> I'm going with Isernosoft. Isernosoft. Ikerno, Ikernosoft. I don't know. Now it doesn't make any sense. It's a 48K okay. game, just like the other games were. Uh, this builds from August 13th, 2022. ZPH is right. Okay, cool. Just put frame that. Put it right behind here. ZPH is right. <laughs> uh, he also made this on the 2600 and also Connor T It's Connor Time 2, a sequel yeah. as well for the 2600. Nice. Um, he is probably, I can almost definitively say... The youngest developer on the 7800 ever. Very cool. I believe he posted he's 14 years old. Yeah. So this is a huge, massive accomplishment. Yeah. Um, wow. Just in, yeah, there we go. I'm 14. Yeah. Um, for developing a game. Uh, yeah. Uh, most, I would say, 7800 developers are in their 40s, yeah. <laughs> if not older. Yeah. Um, no, it's awesome. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Um, and yes, he also posted right there in the chat. I've only done ASM for 6502 systems, NES, 2600, 5200, 7800, and some uh, ALL, not sure what that is, uh, and C64 stuff, and some Z80 stuff, SMS and ZX Spectrum. Mm. So he is a very, very prolific programmer yeah. across many, many platforms, Yeah, uh, which is uh, astounding. Um, so I thought I would play his game. Some C64 too. Very yeah. cool. So let's take a look at its Connor time. Yeah, we haven't put uh, this cartridge in for a long time. Oh, yeah. Concerto. Needs an upgrade. <laughs> uh, one's coming soonish. Oh, good. So. All right. Go. It's Connor time. Let's hope this uh, works okay. It's a one-player game. Okay, so um, instructions: left button to jump, right button to throw the boomerang or run. Um, I want and he messaged me before the game about it. I wanted to tell you about the level select as well as don't push the button to start a game. Press a direction to start a game. Mm. On the title screen, hold select to choose a level. We'll start with level one, of course. Okay. And have fun with the minus world, the badlands or negative world of Connor's dreamland. Mm. Um, okay, so go for it. It is very uh, Super Mario Brothers like. Okay. So, sorry, to, to, to start, start... you just press left or right. You start moving. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I'm scrolling. There's your dude. Oh, where's the jump? There's the jump. Oh. <laughs> Off the screen. <laughs> it's some funky controls. It's, it's, it's... That's your boomerang. I think it doesn't work as a weapon at the moment. So you'll have to just jump on things. Don't, don't hit them head on, but jumping on them's fine. I don't think it destroys them. Not yet. Yeah. And you can go down pipes. Some pipes, I guess. Oh my god, you turn into a ball. Oh, and I think when you die, you start over. No, don't go to the left. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. It's a funky game. <laughs> oh, it didn't start over. No, okay. 
Oh no. I've hit the end of the screen. It's Oops, not, not quite working. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Do we have to reset it then? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. As long as it doesn't crash, then. Then we're good. Then we're good. I have, I'm very good at finding bugs in games. Yes. So the story is, after getting burned, Turbo's remains get shot out so fast that he breaks out of the game world and infects the internet as a virus. When the, our little boy downloaded said virus, Turbo was revived. Wreaking havoc, he managed to get the boy electrocuted after a jump scare when he dropped his computer. Turbo was brought into the dream world as a nightmare, and all the viruses started appearing. The protector of this world, Connor, and his brother Anthony, were notified of this weird hostile life coming into the world of dreams. Your job is to help the pair get through to Turbo and defeat him, just restoring the peace to dreamland. But it's worse. Turbo also stole the six chaos diamonds. Uh, I wonder where that came from. And since has unleashed their power. Get the six chaos diamonds and use them to destroy the nightmare land. Saving dreamland. Failure to do so uh, will result in dreamland being filled with nightmares forever. Use the level select. No, we haven't finished level one yet. Watch out for flying turtles. So that's the end of... Oh, it did it again. <laughs> What happened? Did you touch something? I don't know. No, don't go back. Oh, I think I'm trying to get back it. to the flag. You can't go backwards. Yes, you can. Okay, finish level one properly. <laughs> finish level one properly. Okay. I'm trying. I turn into a, a ball that flies across the screen. <laughs> I'm not going to get that. Okay. I think maybe that might might help me to not... Oh, pet. I fell in the pit. <laughs> Hit the flagpole. Yeah, that's what I want her to do. Eventually, she'll. I'm not. Back. I'm not because I just kind of turn into a ball and I fly across the flagpole. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, we'll figure it out. Go, you can't go through there. I tried. Through where? At through the bottom. That bottom thing, because you hop oh. and you hit your head too easily. Oh, I see. <laughs> Zero page homebrew. I'm so sorry. <laughs> good and he says uh hit down in the run button hmm. oh, oh interesting is that how you defeat enemies oh, no see whenever no. whenever i go down this this kind of funny <laughs> thing happens here oh do a spin dash oh it's kind of like oh. um <laughs> It's like uh, Zippy the Porcupine. <laughs> you need to hold it, go in the pipe. Oh. You need okay. to hold, hold. To get into the pipe world? Okay. Like down here? Yeah, so maybe try that. What is it? Down in. Hold the button, maybe. <coughs> oh. Oh, to hold it to spin. Okay. Oh my god. It's gone crazy. Ah, uh, gotcha. Would it be a little less glitchy on A7800 than actual hardware? It's not glitchy, it's just, oh, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, oh, did that, did you make it? No. <laughs> it went white. I think you did. I think you made it. I'm in the next level? Yeah. Oh, I am. Because you somehow hit the flagpole. You like doing that? Oh my oh. god, it's too, it's too fast. Don't do that. It is fast. <laughs> Why are you going so I fast? I just, because it's fun. You made it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun with this. Let me let me be. Oh, I'm trying to I'm oh, trying to do like a. Oh, back to level one. Okay, it's my turn. All right, you go ahead. It's very broken. You know what? It's kind of quirky. I kind of like it. I don't mind. I don't mind broken games. They're fun. Oh no! Looks like he has a crown when he dies. A little red crown. This sort of stuff saying, use level select to kind of maybe go to the next level. Oh, right. I want to finish level one. No, no, you try level one. I just, every time I get close to the flag, I turn oh, into a God. ball that goes past it, but maybe that was what was supposed well, to happen. kind of helped. Ooh, look it at all those. did kind of help, actually. Flying turtles! Oh, my God. I'm going to have to do a big jump. The reset is so interesting. I like the reset because it kind of like dr drags you back to the beginning. I kind of like that. I, I think it's a neat, neat effect. I really like the movement Tiny of the character better, too. Better at this time. I played a lot of Mario, the Super Mario Brothers, when I was young. So, um, 
<laughs> it's a great start. It's like a retro remix on cat. Now. Yeah. Hit reset. <laughs> go in the pipe. We weren't able to go in the pipe. No, I wasn't able to go down. Okay. Yeah. Try the reset and we'll try another level. Then hit select. Yeah. Did you hit select? Yep. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, this is a totally different level. Yeah, look at all the points. All the points. Nice. Let's get on the trampoline. Get some ones that are higher up. That's the bonus. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> no edge detection. It's just like, yeah, you can just walk off the screen into somewhere else. Okay, let's walk off the screen. Jim? Jim around? Get down on that oh. pipe. Okay. Once you've oh, gotten all okay. that. Oh, okay. I see. There we go. Nice. Your Starfleet star pin collection is enormous now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It, it drops you not on the pipe, but on... Oh, uh, I'll have to Oh, you aim. might be in a, a, a loop. No, no. I can, I can land on the pipe. Oh, maybe not. No, <laughs> I lost all my lives. I That's lost. okay. That's all good. I want to get to level two so I can play it a bit. I touch the turtle somehow. Okay, turtle. You go past. I, I do like all the, um... Reminds me of DOS games. Like, really weird DOS games. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna... It's so sensitive. <laughs> it's so sensitive. No! Uh, <laughs> what happened? Ah, ah. <laughs> I somehow got pushed back <laughs> by the enemy. Yeah. Like how I, it's I so really... procedurally done. Like yeah. Everything's like... Hooray! Hey. Okay. How many lives? I have two lives left. I will not die. We must see more of this level. Yes. Level. Sorry, I, I was. <gasps> oh no! God. No, one life left. Because <laughs> we can't get to this level without like actually making. Getting it. here by the looks of it. Two more levels to go. Ooh, Starfleet pins. Do I collect those? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh! Oh my God! <gasps> Wait for that guy to go past. No! Oh no! Back to level one. Do it again. Do it again. Use the level select, I'm hearing. Can you pick this level? Is there no soft? Can I jump fast? There we there go. There you go. Oh my god. Hi, yeah. kitties. No. Yes. Yes, you can. Okay, so you can jump to that second level. Oh, can you? Yeah. Well, it's not too bad. Now I yeah. know how to, how to get past easily it. pass that. Oh my god. The turbo speed is really fast. It is. It's cool. <gasps> oh, I was so nervous I jumped off myself. I do like all the sprites. I like the Koopas and the, or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Goombas. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Mm, can I get through this thing? Yes, I can. Ooh, what was I... that thing that just ran away? That thing, that X. What's it doing? <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, oh it puts you right back to the beginning again. The goofballs? <laughs> the goofballs. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Ah, fell through it. Somehow. No! <laughs> so you press okay. select? Yeah. Yeah. Um, One more? Oh. Is this the level that we yep, just on? Yep, that's the level you were Oh, on. okay. Yeah, good, good, good. good stuff. And I die instantly, unfortunately. Okay, so we can select it. It's just the third in a row. Yeah. <laughs> Tracking bugs. No! Ah! Wasn't big enough a jump. There's a third and a fourth level. Okay. okay. 
we can, we can jump and show off the third and fourth. That was quite a side jump there. Impressive. <laughs> it moves really fast when you press the Hi. 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 jump button. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's a weapon up there. Uh, I see. Oh, God. Third is the 10. You hit your head on the top. The castle fourth is the right. No, okay. no, kittens. That's too messy. Got more skills than Wild Jump Ninja. <laughs> oh, kittens, no! Is he is he pulling out all the uh, yes, stuffing? Yes, he is. Oh, oh you bad God. cat! Oh. oh. Reset. No, that try try the other one. Try the level no, three. No, not finish this level. Oh, okay, okay. I have to get okay, to the end. Okay. I perfect purposefully put this game last because you wanted to try and get. I wanted to get through all the levels. Oh, made it. Oh, oh, get out of here. So you can't hop from the top because you hit your head. You on the do top. hit your head on the top, so you'd have to jump up to the top using the platform. Damn it! Mmm. You can hit that uh, question mark. I I can... Yeah. Uh... Oh, you could go up to the higher one. Oh, that's okay. That's oh. that's a cloud. You oh. keep falling through the white. <laughs> you can't. You, it's not solid. The white. <laughs> Running as you're yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you go really fast. It's it's it becomes sometimes Sonic the Hedgehog with like sometimes death it's traps, good. So. Like if I want to make it across somewhere. There you go. I need to Yeah. White circles equals clouds, exactly. Right. They're not they're not solid. <laughs> it it's not easy. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is not easy. <laughs> I think I hit him from the bottom. <laughs> uh, you did, yeah. Funny, funny. funny. I did jump through it. That's. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna run. Okay. Mr. No, he, he <laughs> fell off! Mr. Zonaroop says, there's something charming about this game. Alternative title, Running is Death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Danger. Running is Death. You heard it. You heard the button press. <laughs> it was just a little too late. Oh, oh the geez. turtle with my head. You're going to play this next. All right. Oh. Let's try three. Okay. Use the tall orange pipe. Okay. Oh. Try the black one. No, no, no. I don't want to. We have to finish this level. No, we don't. Uh, I want to see some of the other ones. The black one? The black or the, or the, the tan one. That one. You have to move. That's there right, sorry. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> it's like it's a zoop. Oh, run! There's wind! What is going on? It's like in Mega Man. There's, it's wind level. It's a <laughs> oh, it's minus world, is it? I have to go backwards? Oh. I don't know what's going on. No, I think it's just... No jumping, no running, no. no. <laughs> Don't yeah. know what this is about. Okay, Minus let's try something world. else. That's the minus world? Yeah. Maybe that one, the second version of it. You have to press. It. Oh, sorry. I keep confusing myself. This is level one, three. Oh, my ah. goodness. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, uh, no, too late. Too you late. Go oh, back. no. This is Super no Mario pipes. Brothers 1 style. Oh, this is like the dungeon level. Of, it is. Uh... 
Oh, I see. You have to figure out where you're trying to go. In its own way, it's like playing a game on the 2600 that you fried by turning the power switch on and off really fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very different color on the screen here. Blue is all funky. But mm, the hence, bottom. that's how the 7800 rolls. It's very purple. That's closer to what it actually looks like on the screen. Top, middle, top, low, middle, top, low. Oh my god. That is really okay. complex. You have to figure that out over time, I'm sure. Ah, can't even get in a... There we go. Top, middle, top, low, middle, top, low. You memorized that after me saying it once? Yeah. Oh my god. I wonder you're good at the puzzle games. <laughs> Yeah, the edge is not the edge. Um, so I guess you're supposed to not go through the pipes? Well, if you get stuck, then go backwards? I thought you'd die if you go backwards. Oh, Tenny's doing it. She's got it. Yay! Oh my god! It's a guy! Jump on his head! Oh. <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> That's usually what you do. It's the easiest boss. <laughs> easiest boss ever. Oh, there he is again. Kill him, quick, or he'll stare you down. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's level 1161. Oh, wow. Oh, it's ah, the, not it's the fish. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah. Oh, wow. It's all crazy. Got some points. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> Those clouds up above, yellow clouds, and the saturation's a bit much on the yellow. Oh, 7800. You vex me so much with your colors. Uh oh, not good anywhere now. Saturation just a bit. That's pretty good. Ah, there is an end. Oh, into the pit of oh, yellow. Oh, no! <laughs> into the yellow pit. Oh, back to 1-2. <coughs> now you can finish 1-2 for me. Oh, no. Oh, well. It's all good. You have a backwards two lives, so lots and lots. <laughs> oh, pff, right off the edge. Oh, now it's four lives. Try the okay. third level. That goes on forever. Oh. Not this one. I, I I am enjoying it. It's it is. It's quirky. It's very interesting. I I do like it. It's it's got some challenge. Oh yeah. Okay. With a little bit Boxy of finessing down. of the gameplay. <laughs> the the game oh. not the gameplay. The the collisions. Yeah, the collisions. Yeah. Um, and preventing him from going off the screen, like yeah. to the left. Like just a couple tweaks, and yeah. it would be really really good. Like, like it's like really, already like, like more functional, more playable. Like, yeah, <laughs> right off the edge. He does fall off the he edge. He does fall off a lot of edges if he gets close. Um, yeah. Interesting but confusing. Al says, "Yeah, that's a good description." Ah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, so there's one more level. Oh, when I finish the RCT2 2600, I'll make a sequel on the 7800. There you go. You've already moved on to version two. <laughs> so this one? No, we played that. Do the third, which is the third? Like they're not labeled. They're all. We're the left really side of the coin. The, the left side of the coin. Hi. Cuddly cat. No, that goes back to level one. Or is this different? Oh, no, this is different. No, the same. The same dude. That's the, that's the level I was on. Now this. We're back here again. <laughs> ah, fishes. Let's see if I can just pop that pit. At the oh, end. yeah, that's right. Big yellow pit of death. Here, it's gonna come. Mm -hmm. It's coming soon. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm oh, I see. This it. is the castle level. Gotcha. Oh, I don't think I can traverse it. Maybe if you no. run and jump. I don't know. I have to jump from here because I can't jump down here. 
that's too far. Yeah. Maybe I'll you have try. to run the length of it and then mm. jump in. Oh, no! Yeah. Oh, but it takes me to the level I need to finish. Mm. Do a spin dash. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oh, that is very fast. Mm -hmm. Oh. I bet if you get to the top where those little cloudy things are, you could just yeah. spin dash the whole way along. Yes. I really want to finish this. Hi, level, cat. Hi. Do it when you need to make a big jump. Yeah, that makes sense. That spot always, because it's. T I hit my head and I can't make it. Oh, uh, Cernosoft says take the tall orange pipe. So when oh. you get to the tall orange pipe, okay. try taking that. Okay. Off you go. <laughs> I do love how he just goes boop, straight across. Oh, it goes to the third level, that orange pipe. There we go. This one? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Nice. This is probably what oh, that like weird this. level's supposed to be. Oh, yes. oh, you're right. Oh my god, the fish are really dead. They don't, they don't, they, they don't kill you. Cute. Oh, this is nice. I like the fish level. Ooh, One change for the future. The I'm... boss should be a cat. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. They do boss us around. Are you stuck? Um. Oh no, I can I can walk on this. Okay. Yeah, it's not water, I guess, or deadly. Oh, ladder. Oh my god, what happened? Okay. Did you think I finished? Oh, oh you're at this level. It. Okay, what was it? Up, up. <laughs> can we scroll back? You said it to me once and I was like, memorize. Got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> and memorize. Okay, top. No. Top. Top, low, middle. Low. Middle. Top, low. And then boss. Right? Literally, you'll just jump on his head once you jump on him once. There boing, you go. Boing, boing, go. boing, 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 boing. boing. Oh, I have to do it again? <laughs> why, why, why? Why, why, why? Top, middle. Top. Uh, I never got time to implement turbo correctly. Low. Turbo doesn't move. Turbo's pretty easy as far as bosses go. <laughs> yeah, turbo is a, kind of a pushover. Oh, what? This is different. I can't get in those pipes. I can't get in that pipe anyway. Can you get I'm back? I'm do a spin dash. Oh, oh, you can get here. Ooh. That doesn't help though. Maybe I can get across. Oh, oh. my god. You glitched it out. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Oh, we're back here again. I think we're going to have to gone crazy no I think we're done this level all right is there any other levels we missed or did we get them did all? we show at least show them that one. see charming yes I agree I do I do like it I like it a lot yeah, no we... oh, okay yeah yeah I think we did all the levels I think we kind of saw a little oh. bit of everything so many pipes to choose from. <laughs> we didn't see this yet. Okay, let's do a spin dash. Oh, I went down one accidentally. Oh, oh, nope. Oh, what is this? What are those? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just keep dying. Oh, I'm going to run out of lives. There we go. All right. Very cute. Yes. Uh, very promising. Glitch world. <laughs> yeah, lots of glitch world. Try the minus world. How do I get there? That looked like one of the minus worlds. Yeah, it did. Yeah. <laughs> I think one of them. So I, th I think. Yes, it was. <laughs> I, th I think we got we got all of them, or most of them. Most of it. Yeah. We'll leave some for people who want to try. That's it right. Explore too. all the glitch worlds yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, very interesting. With a little bit of polish, I think that, and a lot more levels. 
Oh. That, that could be a lot of fun. Oh, I think it is a lot of fun. Yeah. I think there's a lot to it. Um, uh, some of it is a little a little quirky, but <laughs> it, it, it is really, as as, as Mr. Zarnaloop said, it's a very charming game. Yes. It's really fun. It and, you know, it's got the elements of, like, Super Mario and with with, with a little bit of... I, I kind of like the chaos I like of the, the chaos game. of it, too. <laughs> it, it reminds me a lot of those yeah. uh, games that came out, like, five years ago where they're, like, impossible games. Yeah. Where it's, like, you have to make this crazy jump across this chasm yeah. and you only have to do a pixel perfect or yeah. bounce off these things. Yes, embrace the chaos. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, yeah. Because the jumping's crazy, the, yeah. the spinning ball is crazy, the, the, the speed that you have to um, get across chasms with is crazy. Like, yeah. Like, I, I kind of like that aspect to it. Yeah. If you just fix, like, if you fix kind of some of the glitches that yeah. made it, like, go, go off screen or fall through yeah. places. Yeah, that, that's all that needs to kind of be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the stuff that it, needs to be kind of it fixed. It reminds me of Super Mario Maker. Yes. Where, where you can create these crazy impossible levels, yes. but just trying them is, like, really, really fun. Yep. Um, it, it reminds me of that quite a bit, actually, because it's yeah. like, it's like... Somebody needs to do, like, Cernosoft, if you have the ambition to take your game, yeah. fix up all these little quirks that make you fall through and die and yeah. stuff, and then make a level builder oh my God, built into that it. That would be so cool. It would be so cool. <laughs> have all the pieces along the bottom. You can put them where you want. And then run the levels. And then run your own levels. Yeah. That would be a lot of fun. And then, mm -hmm. I don't know how you could export them. You, I don't know how you would either. I don't know. Or, or read cool, them though. in somehow. Yeah. I don't know how you could do that. But even even just making a level and then showing it off to other people. It would be really would cool. would be really cool. Yeah, but it was really fun. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah really fun. Yeah. And uh, looking forward to your future uh, games. Yes. And, uh, and you're very... Number uh, two as well. You have lots well. of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only 14 and you're already doing games like this. Is I know. extremely impressive. It's really impressive. So Thank congratulations. You. Uh, Mr. Zarnoop says, Isernosoff, I'm a fan. Super Mario Sonic, Sonic Chaos. Chaos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is yeah. a perfect description yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, oh, we went to a concert yesterday. Oh, we did. Uh, Bit Brigade. Yes. If you've never... I, I know they played a convention or two. I can't remember which convention we saw them at, or did we just see them? We saw them, uh, we saw them here. Did we see them as part of, uh, uh, like, no. a retro... Um, compilation of people. I'm trying to remember the venue, at the Fox but I Cabaret? think no, they weren't at the Fox Cabaret. Oh. Um, they were they were at a, a different venue, but well, they're I, either in Portland or Vancouver Expo. I think they were. Anyway. I don't remember. Anyway, they played at a local venue here in Vancouver. Yes, they're called Bit Brigade, and basically, it's a live band, very kind of metalish kind of yeah. music sound. And they play live music as a speedrunner plays NES games. So yes. they played, uh, what was the first one? That was, um, uh, what version? Castlevania. Castlevania one. 1. All the way through. Yep. Beginning to end. Beginning to okay. end, and they Meryl. played it live. Let me it a bit better. Oh, yeah. Meryl, <laughs> Somebody Meryl. gave uh, Cernosoft uh, a tier one sub. Tier one sub, so he doesn't have to see as many ads. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, there's a person at the front of the stage with an NES. Yes. Uh, literally playing the games as a projected, projected on the screen. So everybody can watch him play the games. Yeah. And he's really good. Excellent. Uh, like really, really good. He yeah. doesn't die once. He's a speed runner. Well, speedish runner. He's not doing everything as fast as possible. Yeah. He's he is going through every level. But at a very kind of specific pace, I think yeah. would be the right term. Well, a pace that's consistent, so that the live band can, can play. play the music from the game along with the level, so yeah. it matches the level, the music for each level. Yeah. Um, so they did Castlevania one, start to finish. It, that was pretty quick, and then um, then they did Mega Man Two, start yeah. to finish, yeah, and which takes a lot longer, yeah. Uh, and we saw them before doing the exact same set. It was the yeah. same set, but those two games, great music in both the games, yeah. and the the player is so good. He Perfect almost died. Uh, no, he yes. made a couple mistakes. Yes, and it was he like, did. He oh did. my god, he might die. Yeah, he was, <laughs> yeah. He was really close at a couple points. Yeah. He's like almost fell off and he got his health really low. 
definitely by accident. Oh, you think um, it was by accident? Two times. Other times he... You purposefully die so that you're, you're invincible. Not die. Yeah, get hit. Get hit so you're invincible. Because yeah. he bypassed some parts yes. just, just so it's not tedious. Yeah. Uh, especially in um, in both games. Yeah. Castlevania so he could skip through um, some floor pieces. Yeah. And Mega Man so he could skip uh, riding a very boring, slow... Um, path, oh yes, yeah. Path thing, yeah. Seen that with video games live. Yeah. yeah, it's it's excellent. If you ever get a chance to see Bit Brigade at an expo or yeah. just by themselves, it, yeah, super entertaining. That it yeah. was full venue. I was like, uh, maybe it'll be some people there. Yeah, full. It was full. People I was going actually nuts. <laughs> quite surprised because it's it's not a huge venue. No, but it was filled with people, and uh, but like the band. Keeping up with the, the with the gameplay because the yeah. music is really frantic in both Castlevania and Mega Man. Yeah, and um, it's nonstop. Yeah, they were dripping with sweat, <laughs> dripping with sweat. Yes. And I, I pointed out to James, I said they all had kind of like kind of I'm, I'm, I want to say metalish hair because yeah. they had long hair, right? Yeah, it was metal music. But yeah. like the drummer had kind of hair almost my length. Yeah. And it was just dripping. soaking wet. He was just dripping wet, keeping oh. up with this guy playing. Yep. It was Nostalgic. so good. That's one way to be in a band without knowing how to learn it, playing yeah. an instrument. Yeah, yeah, they said, is our <laughs> band member, yeah. yeah. There's nobody singing, because there's no songs. Yeah. Uh, good night, Isernosoft. Good night, Isernosoft. Thank you so much thank for you. making your game. And thank, thank you for joining us Big for Brigade the stream. Big was at Pittsburgh Replay FX 2016. Oh, baby. Yeah, I bet they play almost all the expos. It's really entertaining. And yeah. the band, like the the musicians are excellent musicians yes. um if like, you listen to their early sharp stuff, sharp 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 uh they've gotten like considerably better over the years oh really yeah, yeah. um they're um, good before a little uh, a little loose but now yeah. they're very 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 tight anyway we just wanted to mention it because we really enjoyed it and it was like a midweek show so it wasn't very uh, like a very late show or anything no, like that we're back home at 9 30 yeah <laughs> um there but uh There we go. Like great, great really, game. really amazing. Like some, I, I was they had very some pretty cool shirts as well. They had very good shirts actually. So they also must play. Um, even though we've seen the same set twice, they I must think play Zelda, was... Metroid, yeah. Ducktales, Ninja Gaiden. I think that's the shirt I didn't recognize. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, it was Mega Man. Mega Man Two. Yeah. Uh, they and had then there's CDs. Castle Band. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Castle Band. But yeah. but we saw those two. And they must just pick a couple because it does take yeah. quite a while for them to get through the game, right? Like it's a pretty long, continuous yeah. performance. Oh, here we go. There you here go. they all are. Double Dragon, Mega Man 3, DuckTales, Batman, Metroid, Zelda, Castlevania, Castlevania 3, Ninja Gaiden, Mega Man 2, Contra. So we saw Mega Man. 2 and, and must have been Castlevania? And Castlevania 1. one. Castlevania 2 is not... Okay. Not the same type of game. It's nice. a, like an RPG more. No sax player. No, they. Maybe we saw Contra once. Maybe we saw them play once. I, I, I swear we've seen them. Like this is the third time we've yeah. seen them. Yeah. Really. Are really they? Good. Are they from Vancouver? Because they played a fairly small venue, so I, I was just kind of so. curious. But sometimes it's hard it to say know. Tour? Does it say tour? There you go. I mean, this will. I mean, they're all over the place. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah. I was just curious. We'll uh, past dates. Because we've we seen them twice out. here. So that's what we saw. The wise, yeah. Uh, well, it's California. Oh, they were going all over the place. Good for them. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that was fun. Da, da, da. East Coast Gaming Expo. Mm. Like These are all from this year. Oh, this is going backwards. Legend of Zelda off-Broadway in Missouri. Okay, it's very off-Broadway. <laughs> Kentucky, Illinois. <laughs> They they play quite a bit. Oh, this is 2020. Oh, you're going backwards now. Yeah. Yeah. Just trying to figure out when we... Let's just look for Vancouver. Rickshaw. Rickshaw. That's where we saw them. Must have. Yeah. Must have seen them there. So this is only two. Uh, Portland. No, no, no. Oregon. Uh, October 14th, 2019. Maybe. That's probably where we saw them. It was the last PRGE because it Maybe. was in October. Hmm. Yep. Uh, so there we go. Yeah. Really, really. They don't have a sax player. It's uh, no. bass, guitar, drums, and another guitarist. I think, yeah. Two guitarists. Two guitarists, drums. And a bass player. Yeah. Um, no keyboards, yeah. no singer, and, and a video game player who's very, very good. Very, very excellent, yeah. Um, so coming up, uh, probably not. Oh, my God. I expanded all these things. Um, <laughs> I'm 
searching for Atari 8-bit. Halloween. What are we doing Halloween? I kind of moved it. I was thinking Friday because it's before Halloween, but then I said, why not move the Tuesday to Monday? Yeah, but Monday's not Halloween anymore. Monday. Oh, what? Monday's the first. Oh, that's right. No, Ten? Monday is 31st. Is I it? Need to, I need to change that day. Oh, I see. That's okay. Because that's, that's a Tuesday. I need to change it. Yeah, we can do Monday. You're not doing anything no. Monday? Perfect. Because I want to do it on Halloween. I don't think so. Why not? Yeah, of course you right? should do it on Halloween. Yeah. So we're, we'll okay. do a Halloween special on Halloween. Excellent. I'm looking for Atari 8 bit Halloween games. Okay. Because I've exhausted, more than exhausted, 2600 yeah, and 7800. <laughs> yeah. Um, we played them all. No, nobody's made any new ones this year, so unless they come up with a new one all of a yeah. sudden that I haven't heard about. Um, and then after that, we're going to be doing the ABBC, ABBUC 2022 entries, part one and two. That was on the first, because, but I thought, eh, it doesn't matter. We'll do it on the fourth. Uh, and the next day, fourth, so that'd be the Friday and the Tuesday. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to do ColecoVision Day. Okay. I need the SGM module first, and that mm. is on its way. And then Atari Age Day 22, 2022 Fall Edition, Day 1 and 2. Um, that will be very soon. Al mm. says these games are going to be released in the store early November, mm. mid-November. We'll see. Uh, so we're going to coincide that with uh, the Atari Age Day. Uh, when the games are ready to be sold in the store. Um, exciting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very, very, very exciting. exciting. Yeah. Looking forward to ColecoVision Day. I can lend you my SGM. Uh, thank you so much. I One should be on its way. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go check on the status of that so I can kind of schedule it maybe. Mm. Um, yes. Hopefully that works. And Al Defer says, I just modified a new game for the Plus ROM High Score Club. Mm. So which one is it? It is Lock and Chase. Very fun. So there we go. Mm. Um, high score club. Yep. I bought his hot sauce. Lock and Chase. Very fun game. Uh, just came out more or less for the 5200 mm. by Phaser Cat Games. Nice. Uh, and we'll be uh, releasing an interview with Phaser Cat Games. Very soon. Very, very soon. Nice. I'll probably do a bunch tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to relax after the show. Yes. Yeah, and so yeah. Saturday, I'll get a couple more ready uh, for the release through the weekend. So you'll get nice. some more. There's 14 in total. So there's three released so far. Wow. Yeah. So there's lots. Lots of work. Lots of work. <laughs> lots and lots of work. Oh, you're very welcome, Mr. Zarna Whoop, yes. for the keychain. It was great meeting you and yeah, everybody else. It was. Uh, at PRG. And your wife, yes. Yes, and Mrs. Zarna Whoop. And Mrs. Zarna Whoop. <laughs> uh, so thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, we'll be back on... It's Friday today. We'll be back on Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. Um, thank you for watching. As from here is Mr. Zarna Whoop, RC70, Charles Wheeland, Kaffman 2 d Al Nefer, uh, e, e Cernosoft. Mm -hmm. No, I forgot which way he said it. I did yeah, it right. that's all good. He's, he's, yeah, it's Isernosoft. <laughs> Isernosoft. Uh, Abahmet uh, Jure. Oh, sorry. I pronounce Jurea? It. Jurea. Pronounce your name terribly. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Vera Pocock. Vera Pocock, yes, yes. That's correct. Nostalgic, 26. Um, eight Did Atari 800 it? XL rules and everybody else who scrolled off the screen that chatted and Dan ABC good, good game of broccoli yeah. <laughs> funny yeah. there 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 is uh, somebody named with the last name broccoli yeah who owns the rights to all the um, James Bond who owns the rights to James Bond for the films. Yeah. And their last name is Broccoli. Yeah. That's Wasn't so that the funny. original producer or something like that? It's something, something like, like that. that. Atari 2600. Hey! Yeah, we only read the names that are on the screen. Yeah. Because there's lots of people watching. And last time I read them from the list, people went, don't say their names. They're <laughs> lurking. <laughs> Even though everybody has full access to them. Yeah. Yeah, I can see a whole bunch of people that I can't say their names because they're not on the screen. That's fine. So if you want your name read at the end of the show, just type, hey, thanks. Yeah, good, have a good, good night. Good night yeah. or whatever. <laughs> um, so have a good weekend. Yes. And uh, we will see you back here on Tuesday with some more games. Yes. So we will... Uh,
don't have it ready. So we'll see you on Tuesday. Have a good night and All a good right. weekend. Bye, yep. everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Have, have a good weekend. Say bye, kitties. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.